Hello there, monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging. So I had the awesome opportunity today to look at a new initiative, which is called the Medical Drone Service. Um, the Medical Drone Service is an initiative that will deliver medical goods like medicine or maybe even blood to people who actually need it to deliver better care for, um, for the people out there, for the people in the Netherlands and maybe eventually in the world. Um, so why is this initiative there? Well, you know, our city are getting busier, there's more traffic, there are... Well, everything is getting more busy and that means that it's harder for, for example, an ambulance to reach a specific area in a specific time. So they need something that can pass over all the traffic, fly over all the traffic and deliver that initial medical care that can be life-saving and that's why this initiative is there to deliver those goods before, for example, an ambulance gets there or before a helicopter gets there. And it is not only to deliver that initial care, it can be used to transport all different kind of medical goods like uh, blood samples, medicine, AEDs, um, blood sacs, all kind of medical transport between hospitals, between hospital and the patients, between the hospital and a doctor. You name it, and this drone can do it without any obstacles. So how does this all work? <laughs> well, the drone they are currently flying with is the AV Aero, <laughs> AV Aero drone. It's a drone made by a Dutch company, and it is a vertical uh, takeoff and landing drone. So what does that mean? Exactly what the name is saying. It will take off vertically, it will land vertically, and when it reaches a certain altitude, it will actually switch to airplane mode. It will fly as an airplane when it reaches a certain altitude. The benefit with this is that, well, you need very little infrastructure to make this work. I mean, it can land on the roof of every hospital in the world. And well, not on every building, but on most buildings in the world. So, I mean, I mean that's amazing. So currently, they are testing with 4G. All the communication to the drone is coming by 4G, is done with 4G. There is a failsafe there, and the failsafe is currently uh, talking to the drone with the direct with the antenna, direct antenna. So that means there is a range. There isn't there isn't a lot of range there on the failsafe. It's only around two kilometers, and then maybe the an the antenna is obstructed and it cannot communicate anymore. Um, they will improve this in the future. Uh, the drone is programmed in this way that every failure that it, that it encounters must be recoverable in some way or another. And I mean, it's logical. If you, <laughs> if you have a single point of failure and it cannot recover, the drone will fall down. And when it falls on your head, well, you got the medical care there, but you know, it, it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> it doesn't work. Um... And it's actually pretty cool because they have this huge console. This huge, it was actually uh, a suitcase where they can control the, the drone with. And on that control, you actually got two screens. So one screen um, is to see the camera of the drone. And the other one is to actually make a flight plan of the drone and to see the flight plan of the drone itself. So you can select certain waypoints on a map, just like Google Maps. And on those waypoints, you can tell different instructions like take off here or land here or do whatever, all kind of possibilities. And then it will just do that. You can, it's awesome. And you can also do a no fly zone, for example, on the map. So that's very handy for when you are around an airport, you cannot fly around an airport. So there is a no fly zone there and it will actually avoid that. So very awesome stuff. So how will they continue from here? Well, as I said, the field save right now is with direct antenna communication. This is not handy. It has a short range. So they want to have the field save on a satellite communication. It means there is a little delay in between there, but it means um, the, the range is as far as the battery, battery loss of the drone. So that's a, that's a plus. They should really do that. Also, eventually the drone should be autonomous um, that's not possible yet and that's because all kind of laws and regulations are in one kind of a legal struggle right now you cannot fly an autonomous drone at the moment so 
They will get there, but that takes time with governments and you know all the stuff. It's not, it's not good. And I talked to the pilot for a little bit, to the guy who's actually flying the drone right now. And well, his vision was that eventually there will be like a drone drone cap, the drone traffic control, and from certain spots in the country, they will be sitting there monitoring all the drones. Um, adjusting them like just like in air traffic control but then for drones unfortunately i couldn't see it fly but i'm still curious on where the project will be in the upcoming three years uh, which is the length of the pilot project and i do think it can make the medical care eventually in the whole world maybe uh, a lot better so if you liked this video feel free to subscribe and hit the like button and if you did not you know what to do too and then i would like to say as always Thank you a lot for watching and to be continued.